it's one thing to kind of disagree with my affect and 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 how I raise hell for the poor, the working poor, and the barely middle class. That's one thing. But to totally lie about my record. And there was every day I got home, there was a, some negative piece in my mailbox. At one point in this campaign, I was being outspent on TV five to one, even though this movement showed up for me. It showed up in volunteers. It showed up, you know, when 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 the campaign got hit un, unfairly. This movement itself showed up, just as our revolution showed up, and DFA showed up, and Working Families Party showed up, and, and sisters and brothers and family and friends in labor. The grassroots donor showed up for this campaign. And but for you showing up, we would not have been able to compete. We were fighting a multi-front war, and I was the target. As the chairman laid out, I was told very early on that there would be an anybody but Nina campaign ran against me. And boy, did they follow through with that in fine fashion. I was also told by, you know, a prominent person in this district that, you know, we're going to do everything possible to make sure that you don't win. And they did that. They did exactly that. But what I want this movement to know, I want you to know, because I'm not, you know, telling everything. I, I want you to know on the pod, I, I want you, I want us to be very cognizant about what the other side is willing to do. When I mean the other side, I mean the corporatists from both parties are willing to do to try to defeat our movement. I want that to settle in. And then I want you to take your righteous indignation and be even more determined to help progressives win. Because at the end of the day, I'm just a conduit. And the fact that they felt so bold and brazen to come after me in that in this moment should tell you that they fear what I would be able to do in that Congress. But I got news for them. Whether I'm in Congress or not in Congress, the mission is the same. And I am committed to our mission, our mission of uplift, our mission to continue to fight for universal health care, our mission to reimagine, to transform a legal system that is unjust, both from a racial lens and a class lens, our mission to cancel student debt, our mission to hold elected officials accountable, accountable for taking the people's power, that power should be used for the least of these, our sisters and brothers and family and friends. And we got to have somebody who is willing to bump up against it. And, you know, when I think about all of the great, like, social, economic, like, changes that really shook the world, whether it was the civil rights movement or the abolitionist movement, you know, just name your movement. Those movements were primarily led by everyday people who put a little extra on their ordinary and made the people who hold our power bend. So the Dr. Kings of the world, the Rosa Parks of the world, the Ella Bakers of the world, the Mother Joneses of the world, the Cesar Chavez's of the world, the Malcolm X's of the world, the Fannie Lou Hamers, I mean, name your person. Those people were not elected to office. So what is your message, Senator SNT? My message is this that it is okay to be mad, to be sad. But what we cannot do is allow any of these forces to deter us from the mission, because that's what they really want to do. That this multiracial, multigendered, multi-identity generational movement must continue to push forward against all of the odds. And we must be resolute in that that this mission does not change. That is what I want you to know. And I also want you to know that in the places where we did win, we won a multi-ethnic racial working class coalition. That is what our revolution and other progressive movements are building. We won working class blacks. We won work our working class whites. We won working class uh, Hispanic community. We won the working class vote in the 11th congressional district. That makes me extraordinarily happy. What would have turned the tide if more of them had a can't come out to vote to compensate for what happened in other parts of this district. So we have a lot 
to be proud of. I know that people are mad and sad, and I am not going to pretend that I am not, and I'm not going to ask you to pretend that what happened on Tuesday did not happen. But what I am asking you to, to do is not to give up, not to give in, and not to give out, and to know clearly that even though we didn't cross that river on last Tuesday, that we got many more rivers to cross, many more mountains to climb, and it is because of the 21st century freedom fighters that you are, that we can see, we see with a clarity what needs to happen and be transformed and reformed in this country. Our mission stays the same.